Making it happen at the Great White Channel, that's all. What it do, dudes? This is Great White making it happen again today with some more Portal Knights. Back at it again, and I'm very excited about today. We got a lot going on. Lots to kind of discuss, because there's been a lot that's happened with this game since the last time I checked in with you guys. Last time we did the holiday event, it was kind of a... I don't want to say it was a letdown. I just kind of expected a little bit more in, in the uh, sense of, like, quests and stuff. But, hey, that's cool. Any new content is, is good content in my eyes, so... Um, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't believe that. Maybe that shouldn't be very true. But, um, hey, it's cool. It was, it was a fun thing to kind of explore. Uh, we're back at our home base right now, though. I kind of want to show you guys a few things. We're, we're playing in 1.2.2 is the current version of Portal Knights, which is super exciting because there's been a lot that's been updated. More so what I'm thinking of is like in the sense of like decorations, uh, that kind of stuff. There's been a lot I've been able to do with the uh, decorating that has been, well, I think it's a good change. Uh, I kind of want to show you guys what I'm talking about. So first off, you probably noticed I got this little... Uh, <laughs> this little like uh, shrine deal. It's like uh, this is well. So this is the the statue you get when you complete the quest at Sanctuary. It's supposed to be a statue of you. Which if you look, oh, I'm on a different character. We're we're not playing as the Fruit Knight today. We're playing as my um, Ranger. So it looks a little bit different. But that's the same armor that my Fruit Knight wears. But it doesn't show the vanity helmet, the uh, actual fruit hat, which is kind of sad. I kind of wish it did. <laughs> but that's cool. That's uh, this is a shrine to me because I'm so full of myself. And, uh, yeah, that's exciting. Now, one really cool thing I want to bring up that's changed since the last time we uh, played. Um, you guys remember I was having a big issue because, like, with the um, with the Mage Tower here, something really annoying about this is I wanted to use it, and I was really excited about the Mage Tower, but it was so annoying climbing these steps. These steps are so irritating because they're, like, really thin, and I fall off them all the time, and there's so many of them. Like, that's a lot of steps to climb. So, I figured out that you can do this pretty sweet thing. You guys notice this thing's missing? Well, check this out. Let's just go ahead and pop open the map. Return to landing pad. The landing pad is on top of the mage tower now. Check this out. What? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so awesome. I'm so excited about this because anywhere in the map, I can hit this and return to landing pad. I can do that at any point in time. Um, and it's kind of nice because... Um, so, this is like... Ideally, this is like my mage's place of, of where he does stuff and things. Uh, sorry to steal that from you, Slipgator. I didn't mean to steal that, that phrase, but <laughs> you guys get the idea. This is where my mage does things. Um, the courtyard is where my ranger does things, and then there's the basement where the uh, warrior does his things. And all of them are pretty access easily accessible from the um, the mage tower. So if I'm playing as my knight and I won't need to get to the basement, I just zerp up here and then I can whoop, fall down, take a little fall damage, which doesn't matter because there's no enemies in this world. And then I'm, bam, right here at the basement. So that's a really exciting change. I think that was already a thing before. That's not really new to the updates, but that's new to me. I never knew about that before. There are a few small changes in the knight's basement that I made. I did go ahead and add this little, uh, I don't know, call it a, just like a pool of water. I'm sure there's a name for it when you're talking about like forges. They have to like dump, you know, dunk the... Uh, the blade into water to cool it down or whatever that was kind of my thought process behind this plus it was a reason to use this cool fountain thing so i was like sure why not do it i gave it a try and i'm pretty happy with it i think it looks pretty cool i added a little uh, smithy sign i found this in one of the worlds i was exploring and found out you can actually pick it up and place it somewhere else so i decided to take that and put it as a little sign for our smithy area and then i added this i've actually found an area in the world where they had built this like an npc like a, like a pre-built thing I actually had one of these and i was like that's super cool so i decided to add one to our smithy too just you know some more interesting stuff to add in there so i'm pretty happy with how the uh the basement's turning out i don't know if these gargoyles were here last time that uh, i showed you guys i don't know how i feel about them i think they're all right this actually isn't quite as open as I would like it to be. I would like to have this, like, floating in the middle of, the of like, nowhere. So I still have a lot of clearing out to do with all this dirt. But we'll get to that eventually. Um, one cool thing that's changed recently with the game is that titanium bars are not nearly expensive as they used to be. They used to cost, I think, 10 titanium to make. But now if we look at the... Ugh, where is it? There it is. Titanium bars. Yeah, they cost 3 titanium. So, titanium is a lot easier to get a hold of now. Plus, I can go ahead and build like a, uh, oh, where is it? It's, it would be Workbench 5. Yeah, titanium chests cost 8 titanium bars. So, I could easily start replacing a lot of these uh, chests with titanium chests, which I might actually start doing soon. But, um, yeah, it's going to take a while to do. So, I'm going to have to collect up a lot of titanium. Obviously, I have a lot already. 
but it's going to be kind of annoying removing stuff from chests, switching out the uh, titanium uh, chest, and then placing all the items back into it. It's going to get a little bit irritating, so I'm, I'm waiting until I'm bored and I have <laughs> nothing else to do to just kind of spend like a couple hours doing that all around the place. Like these all need to turn into titanium. Yeah, these are these are silver. These are bronze. Like these, have, oh, they have such little space. It'll be nice having the titanium blocks. But some other cool things I wanted to show you guys, and I'll try and hurry before it gets dark. We might have to do a cut because I don't know how to make the daylight like cycle go faster. So I don't know how to make it turn day after it's already turned into night, which is kind of annoying. But the lighting things are pretty cool. You'll notice right as soon as we walk outside here, though, I got the sweet little path. And this is something we're going to be doing today after I show you guys some of the changes I've made. But um, this is a cool thing that I've been working on. I can't wait to show you guys that. That's going to be pretty exciting. But if we make our way over here, you'll notice. Oh, actually, before we go any further out there. I want to show you guys something at the top of the tower. Um, I kind of looked over there, and you might have noticed, but I just want to kind of bring your attention to it, because this is something I'm pretty excited about. You'll notice all around, like all on the outside there, all on the outside here, slowly I've been filling in this forest. I've been planting more and more of these uh, dark fir trees. I think it's dark fir, yeah. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I don't have any seeds on me, but yeah, they're dark fir trees. It's been kind of a pain collecting up all these uh, seeds, but man, it really adds to the uh, feel. I, something I really don't like about Portal Knights is that we're on all these islands, right? So, essentially, I'm on this, like, relatively small island. Um, I picked the medium size for my islands, so that might be part of the reason for this. But I don't like when I can look out and see the edge of the world. Because then it just feels like you're just on this little tiny area. So, by adding all these trees, it kind of removes that feeling. You kind of get this illusion that you're on a larger... See, if you look over there... It obviously ends like there's nothing past that and that looks kind of lame to me But if we look over here, there's still an edge to the world right over there But you can't really see it so that kind of gives you the you know the illusion that we're, we're on a larger Like maybe not even an island. Maybe we're just on like a, a big old continent or something And that's kind of the illusion. I wanted to feel I wanted to feel like I was in this huge world And that's uh, that's really turned out well, and I'm gonna keep doing it I'm planning to fill this whole entire world up with dark fir trees and I'm going with the dark fir because I think they just look better like even with just having a bunch of those copied it just looks better than having any of those emerald trees those emerald trees look like they look like marshmallows they look ridiculous but whatever it's cool um, I've got a lot of these bushes around too and these bushes uh, I wish I had more variety I this doesn't I know it doesn't look good all those bushes those don't look great they all look the same so I want I want some variety in bushes too, but I really don't I can't find anything else that's that's good for planting. Like planting corn around wouldn't look good. Like just having random corn sprouting up all over the place that would look weird. But um, speaking of which, I finally finished the uh, the uh, field here. So this is actually pretty much complete. I could place a couple more straw blocks over here, I guess, but I'm I'm feeling pretty happy with it. Sorry. Oh, sorry. This isn't corn. This is wheat. Excuse me. But it looks like corn, doesn't it? I don't really know. I guess. I, I don't know wheat that does look like corn <laughs> but I guess it is wheat technically excuse me but um I like to imagine it's corn <laughs> but uh yeah so coming into here though into the the town yeah a lot of changes around here check this out so this is pretty cool you'll kind of see oh, I wish it was a daytime um you can kind of see though that the trees on the horizon they kind of show up over there and you can't really see past them so it kind of gives again that illusion that there's no edge to the world. We're kind of in this big old forest. And then um, you kind of notice those all around now. We got them on all sides. So it kind of just gives us a nice cozy feel. Like this is nestled away inside a uh, little area. A little, uh, little cove inside the forest, which is pretty sweet. And then, um, I don't know if cove was the right the word, but <laughs> you, you like a glen maybe. Is that is that the right word? I don't know. You guys tell me. I'm not sure. <laughs> but um, check this out. This is something I'm very, very proud of. This is something I'm very excited about. So with the decoration stuff, I think I showed you guys last time. We got like bottles we can place. So I really took advantage of that and I kind of went crazy with it. So I went ahead and I placed bottles around like on the well. Looks like you'd fill up some bottles with some water, you know, and there is some water in there. Believe it or not. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Yeah, you can barely see it. It's in there, though. I promise. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's pretty cool. And then um, over here we got some plates and stuff for people to eat because I decided this is going to be, like, the town square center. And this is going to be where, like, people go to eat food. This is going to be, like, a like a kitchen of sorts, like a um, maybe some kind of a restaurant sort of. So they've got their little uh, opening here where they actually sell the food. And you see there's some plates here with food. There's, there's no actual food on them, but you get the idea. Some bottles, some drink, 
for this. <laughs> get some drank for people in case they get thirsty. <laughs> and then in here, I haven't finished decorating it yet, but we're really uh, making some progress. We got a little decoration in here. And then I found there's these yellow stone blocks now. It's like a new block they have, I'm pretty sure. And this is like uh, just the same thing as, as the regular stone blocks, but the, uh, the stone bricks, rather. It's just yellow stone bricks. They're just a different color. And I put these in here as like stoves, like this is where they're cooking the food that they're serving to people. So it's pretty cool. Pretty happy with how that turned out. With the uh, water, oh yeah, you probably noticed this is a pretty big change. I went and put one of those pr protective things in the in the center of this pond. Just as kind of like a, I don't know, like a lore thing. Like maybe this has been here for forever and like these people found this, this sweet magical floating thing in this pond and decided to like worship it maybe and like build like a... Uh, like a village around it just because they believed it brought them protection which ironically it does actually protect them from spawns um not that there are any spawns in here it's more just a decorative thing but that's another change i made and another change i went ahead and made which it would probably look better if it was light out i might i might i was gonna maybe wait till it was light but you guys can still kind of see you'll see in here i went ahead and i lined the walls i went ahead and took the um the hoe i took my hoe and i hoed the side of these walls where it's underwater because that gives more of like a muddy look, I think, and that would make sense for the uh, dirt that's underwater. So I went ahead and did that, and I think that gives a nice look, and I put sand on the bottom so that now we don't have like grass and like flowers growing underwater because I just thought that looked pretty silly. So I think that's a, a much better look. I think it looks a lot cleaner. And then I've got some plans over here. So this is kind of the end of this town. I haven't made a lot of changes outside of that. Eventually I'll go in and decorate all these houses, just some basic decoration, give them some beds and stuff, like, you know stuff they can they can actually live with but um i got these stairs on either side of this i think i might actually turn this into like a bridge or like also put a bridge or something like that so that you can like go across or you can go down the steps and get down to this area um i think that would be cool and then have this lead over to like a new district maybe like a wealthier district with like nicer houses or something like that so i was thinking something along those lines with that so yeah things are looking really cool i'm really happy with the decoration stuff we can do um, I've done a lot of that around our base. I kind of cut through here to get back to our actual area. And then let's take a look at the, uh, the thing I wanted to do with you guys today. <laughs> I'm not sure how long we're running on the recording. I think we're at like 12 minutes now. So pretty, pretty decent size recording. I think we got a little time to do some building. So I want to show you guys what I wanted to do with you today. Um, I have this, so we come out of here and immediately we have this little path. I might do something over here too, because we have some cool, just like areas where we can, um, I don't know, that looks, I don't know, I think that looks cool. Like having the, like the boulder here. This is like where the stairs to the basement are. It's like a big old boulder. This is kind of a cool little thing to see. I like the, like the look of this. So I might create a little path over here leading to something else. But, um, up here, if we follow this, I created these kind of steps with stone and, and, uh, wood blocks. And I added some more of my little stairs. I use like the benches as little stairs. And then on the way up, halfway up it kind of winds around we got a little pond here a little pond here and then uh, eventually it leads up and it peaks on the top of this little hill uh, I call it, yeah, I'd, say, I'd say it's a little hill it's not quite a mountain um, so up here I'm thinking we're gonna do one more pond and what I'm thinking for the pond is that we need like we need to have something interesting I might do another one of those statues so like that statue, I have a shrine to myself. I might do another thing like that. And then I grabbed a few things. I, I found these, um, oh wait, these are the orange runestone blocks. There's another kind of like glowing sandstone block that I found when I was kind of exploring earlier. So I might use those. I might pepper these around inside the, um, the area. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of like line this with some sand on the bottom because again, I don't like the flowers at the bottom water and I think we're gonna fill this little area up with water. That's kind of the idea. So, oops, I'll just be filling this in. And then, once we have this all filled in, I think I might, you know, um, just to give it kind of that, you know, magic feel, <laughs> I'm going to line it with some, uh, or not line it, but like maybe sprinkle here and there, or maybe do like a design or something with the uh, glowing yellow blocks. I was, I was going to do the glowing sandstone, but I didn't collect any, and I think the, the glowing yellow blocks will look better, or the orange blocks, excuse me. But um, with these, I like to have one layer of regular grass at the top. I think it looks better that way. Oops, didn't mean to place that one. So kind of like that. And do I have the water bombs on me? I don't, so I'll have to go collect those. So let me get a few things ready and then I'll pick you guys back up here when I have something more interesting to look at.
While I'm on my up here, I apologize if my voice sounds a little weird today. I am, I'm, I think I'm getting over being sick a little bit. I had a little bit of a cough, so I'm trying to, trying to get lots of cough drops and mitigate the bad voiceness. So I apologize if I sound a little bit off today. Uh, should be, should be much better soon. But uh, check it out, guys. Yeah, this is what I have so far. Looking pretty good. Um, what I'm thinking here is I grabbed some fountains and I grabbed some kanite statues and some um, braziers. Braziers. We got some braziers. So <laughs> what I'm thinking we're, we're going to do here, let's check this out. So I don't have like a big statue like the other one. I'd have to go and um, actually make that again. Oh, you're going to cut my face off, aren't you? Oh, why you got to be like that? Oh. That's annoying. So what I was thinking is something like this. We have to kill that tree. Ah, poor tree. Oh, well. But let's do something like that. We'll have the, the twins. Oh, what? This thing's huge. I thought it was much smaller than that. Has this always been this big? Oh, what? All right. Well, we're just going to have to do it the opposite of what I thought I was going to do. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. So let's do something like this then. Let's go with the fountain. Fountain right in the middle. And then we'll do the knights on the sides yeah like this that's fine yeah so that's that's a cool little uh thing i could dig that so they're like protecting the fountain so yeah we could create some lore behind this like we'll say these are the knights of the fountain <laughs> that's a pretty pretty ba name knights of the fountain and they're sworn to protect the waters see this this fountain is uh even though it has like a demon looking thing on it it blesses these waters and um the waters flow down this hill into this pond and then it flows into this pond i can't make flowing water or else i would actually do this that would be cool and then eventually it flows down and this is what the people here drink out of and um it uh never runs out it's a never flowing fountain a fountain that that forever exists and uh the people thrive off of it and those two knights were uh sworn to protect that fountain and uh even in death they embody these statues, and they are the fountain protectors. Knights of the Fountain. Now, Knight of Fountain, you, you got tree in your face. Let's fix it. Oh, didn't mean to do that. All right, so we come up here, and bam. Got a nice little fountain, little fountain area. It's nice. It's nice. I like that. You know what this needs? It needs a bench and better decoration. That's not decorative enough. I like those trees up there. Actually, they're too similar. I need. I feel like one needs to be on a different height. We can fix that pretty easily. We we'll just go like this, and then I, w I think the way that trees work in here is you have to have like a three. Uh, I think it's a three by three. So I'd need to place this, and then I can place one right there. I think that's how it works. Let's try it, and then that should grow, and then there'll be different heights. So that'll be nice. But um, yeah, so I'm thinking maybe like we could put a bench like right here, and then maybe another one like right here. Yeah, that'd look good. Hey guys, I was just grabbing some cotton cloth so I can make some benches for up there. And I forgot to, to show you guys this. I made some changes to our little storage area too with all this decoration stuff we can do. So check this out. I figured this is our storage area. This is where we keep all our stuff. So it makes sense that, you know, it would be kind of messy, you know, if it was like real and like lived in. So I added all this stuff. I got like a bunch of books, some papers. Like this is like, these papers are like explaining like what's on here. Like what's like what's in what, you know, obviously don't really. But, like, you know, that's kind of, like, the idea I have when I put these here. These, like, explain what, wh where, what's stored where and how to get to it. I wish they actually explained that. <laughs> that would be useful. That would stop me from going like this. Eh, eh, eh. And then, oh, yeah, I got a bunch of more stuff. Yeah, I got all kinds of decorative stuff ready to go. Yeah, so we might actually see if maybe we can grab something that would be useful for up there. A little candle might be a good idea. A large bookshelf. Oh, man, we got a lot of good stuff. Yeah, I'm really excited about the decorating. I'm pretty stoked to get get that going. But, um, yeah, there's all these pots and stuff. Make it look a little bit more realistic. I like that. And then uh, I just got to jump over here and make a couple benches. So, really happy with the uh, direction that uh, Portal Knights is going. They've made a lot of cool changes with the recent updates. And hopefully, they keep it going. One thing that I don't, they don't have that I would love to see is barrels. Like, you, when you go out and you can, like, destroy barrels in the... Um, like out in the wild, <laughs> like in the other worlds, like the pre-made things have barrels to, to destroy and like crates. It would be sweet if we could make barrels and crates. It might be annoying if you have other people join your world because they'd probably just automatically destroy their barrels and crates. They would like, <laughs> they would like try because you get used to it when you're out in the other worlds. So you'd have to 
maybe like make it so they respawn or something like that. That would make sense. Did I forget to pick those up? I totally did. Oh, I'm the worst. Nope, they were in my inventory the whole time. I'm so smart. I'm just the smartest. <laughs> All right, so we got our benches. Let's place these things. I'm thinking one right here. That would make that would be good. So that gives you another little like. Ooh, let's let's replace this then. Let's put like. <gasps> sorry. Let's put like. Uh, do I have some refined wood? Oh, I do. Sweet. Would this look better? No, that looks stupid. Let's do. Um, do I have some regular stone? Ooh, tell me I have some regular stone. I do. Man, I just I'm looking out today. Okay, that looks a lot better, I think. That's a much better look. And then you got a little flower there. That actually worked out well. It's worked out well. <laughs> and then we got our other bench. Let's throw this one. Ooh, let's put some stone under this one as well. Um, get rid of these. Stone, stone, stone. And bench. There. How's that look? I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty cool. And then I think maybe we could do something over here too. We could have another like little like lookout area where you could sit here and look out on the whole forest. Eventually there's gonna be more than just forest though, because I'm thinking we'll do some cool things down here too. Like this. I was thinking maybe a wealthier district, but I was also thinking, let's make something cool. Let's make like a like a coliseum. Like that would be sweet. I want a big old coliseum. That would be an awesome thing to have. So I might end up doing something like that. This is already a nice little circular area, sort of. That would be a nice, like, build up to it. And then these people could have, like, an entrance here with, like, a pay area and, like, you know, seating all around the edges. Ooh, that would be cool. So, a Coliseum. Eventually, I want to get a castle made, too. I'm thinking, like, way out on the edge, a castle of some sorts. That would be really sweet. Because I'm digging, like, these smaller projects. Like, even the, the Mage Tower wasn't that big of a project. I want something, like something huge like a huge project to work on so let me let me know if you guys have any ideas about that in fact let me know if you have any ideas about anything oh that reminds me yeah so anything down here if you have any cool ideas for this um anything for up here anything else cool i could do um i'm pretty happy with how this has turned out so far i'm sure i could do some more small things here and there i did plant some bushes and they're starting to grow in i wish they could just stay that size i wish they didn't grow up into the larger bushes they kind of look nice that way but eh say lovey no big deal. Oh, but I wanted to ask you guys this one question before I uh, go on my way here, or send you guys off, whatever you want to call it. I have um, the teleport thing up here now, which means I have this huge area down here with nothing going on. This used to be my teleport pad, and I would enter the house here, but that's not really a thing anymore. So I need something to put out here, and I was thinking maybe just another pond, but man... That's a lot of ponds. We're doing a lot of ponds. And I, I'm kind of, I don't know. I don't know if I really want to do more of that. So I need something cool to put out here. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. I'm kind of at a loss. I'm sure I could think of something. But pond is like the first thing that comes to my mind. And I don't want to make another pond. So if we could have something cool here that maybe like connects down here somehow. And have something interesting. Because this little, this, this whole area up here is kind of weird. I planted a couple trees up here. So those will grow eventually. And that will look a little bit better. But yeah, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know. Yeah, I can't think of anything. But I think that's where I'm going to leave it today. I think the video ran a little bit long. But I appreciate you guys sticking it out with me. It's been a pleasure. I hope you had fun today. Uh, again, let me know if you have any ideas around here. I'm really getting excited about building in this game again. I'm really really having fun with it. And uh, oh, check this out. Oh, wait, before you go. Look at this. I put I got, I got, found a telescope when I was in one of the, the space worlds. And I put this little telescope, uh, telescope out on this porch. So now you like... People come up here and they're just at the night to do some stargazing. Oh, looking at the stars. Oh, look at him. He's just looking at the stars. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, I love it. Oh, this game is so cool. All right, guys. Well, thanks again for hanging out with me. I do appreciate it. It's been real fun. I hope you had fun too. Make sure you like the video if you did like it. Make sure you subscribe if you're enjoying it so you don't miss a video. And you guys just have, just have the best kind of day. <laughs> See you guys later.